Hi, I'm Charlie Kosorek, and uh, today I wanted to give you a tour of my shop. So this is a jack bench woodworking shop tour. This is my the jack bench, the original jack bench, the one that I built for show with the mahogany and the book match veneer that I've got. Uh, adjustable height, adjust very easily with the drill, and uh, mobile base built in. You can talk more about that, or you can learn more about that on my site, jackbench.com. Let me see, moving back over here, I've got my uh, table saw, I've got a saw stop. I've had this for 10 years. I bought it as soon as they were available. I went ahead and bought one because I just thought this is the this is a, the right thing to do to have a, a safe saw, and I love it. It's been a great machine. Next to that, I've got my router table, and uh, it's just a homemade table that I bought at a sale. A guy was uh, getting rid of his tools, but that serves me real well. And uh, let me see from there, what's my next thing? I have a small planer, a uh, joiner I mean. It's my six inch Delta joiner. It gets the job done. To do it over, I'd get a larger one, but again, I got it used, got a deal, so. It worked for me. One of my favorite machines, I got a lot of favorite machines, but one of my most favorite ones is this Delta Sander. It is a beast. Uh, I can't, I can shove wood into that thing and <laughs> all day long and it doesn't slow down. It's, it's a terrific machine. So back here I've got a, just a rack. I mostly store my finishing, finishing supplies here, a few other odds and ends, pile of routers there in the corner. Mm. Let's see. Oh, my, my Veritas sharpener. Uh, love this. This is all I use and it does a terrific job. They're, they sharpen my chisels fast and sharp. What more could you ask for? And let's see, back here, I've got my drum sander and this, geez, again, another machine that I absolutely love. It's a great, it does a, it, so once you set it up, it takes a while to set them up, but once you set this thing up, it just does Fabulous job, fabulous. I also have uh, Mini Max, 16 inch MM16 Mini Max. What can I say? Another wonderful machine. This thing is also a beast. Look at this thing, 14 inches of resaw. Can you beat that? And it'll actually do it too. I've done it, I've tried it. So, <laughs> love that machine. Then back here I have a 16 inch planer. I Honestly, I hardly ever use it. Not a, not my favorite machine, but if I ever have a 16 inch wide board, I'm ready for it. It's, a, it's kind of a clunker, but anyway, it, 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 it does work. Then I have a rigid spindle sander. Pretty nice little machine. I mean, for, for, the, for what these things cost, it's amazing value what you get out of this machine. I love this too. I don't use it a ton. I tend to use the other sander more, but there's times when this thing is just right. I've got a lathe. Again, I buy a lot of my stuff used. I got this thing used from a guy who was uh, upgrading. And really, I don't do a lot of turning, but once in a while I need to turn a piece for a project. Uh, I, I, can, I can fake my way through it. I can make it. I'm not an expert turner, though, by any means. Then I have my drill press, and it's, it's an old, uh, more of an industrial a pretty heavy cast iron drill press and what's special about this is I inherited from my dad. I feel like tearing up now but honestly I inherited this from my dad. A, a pretty hard press to ever want to upgrade uh, because of that reason. And then let's see back here I've got my dust collector. It does a good job. I would, I am considering though maybe, maybe upgrading from the felt bag to one of the pleated uh, nano filters that they've got. Um, nah, maybe that's something down the road. Uh, next thing I have here, I just store more odds and ends here. Old machinist chest, I actually inherited that from my dad too. Actually it was a gift, it wasn't so much an inheritance. Sanding supplies, all this, these are all carving chisels here. I love to carve, I can't help it. Got these cool chisels here. This is the Coglo skew chisels. Look at these things. These are awesome. 
Look at that. They're skewed, they're bent, they're sculpting chisels, and they are fun to use, let me tell you. Anyway, got a whole set of them. Love it. Um, what's next? Back here, I've got my rigid planer. This I use a lot. I use it, it's, it's, it works really well. It's not super heavy duty, but I don't really need heavy duty for most of my things. And it's just, it's a quick, easy machine to use. So I'd really use this a lot. Uh, next to this, I have my miter saw. And it, it's just been a good saw for me. I've had it for a long time, probably 15 years or maybe. Yeah, I have had it for 15 years at least. And what, what I did special with this is I, I souped up the dust collection on this. I noticed when the saw is down that the dust just flies around here. So I put these cardboard shields on here so that when I bring the saw down, oh, they're falling apart now, but when I bring the saw down, it creates a tunnel that the dust is forced back to the, the hose. And then I have the hose connected to a garage sale vacuum cleaner, Craftsman vacuum cleaner with the auto start. So every time I start this, the miter saw that the vacuum comes on automatically and, and it does a fabulous job of dust collection. The only downside is that old Craftsman <laughs> vacuum cleaner is hands down the noisiest machine in my whole shop, but it does the job. And it was five bucks, so what can I say? Then of course, uh, Back over here, clamps, a guy's got to have clamps. I have clamps on the back wall over by the drill press, and I have clamps over here, the ones that I use the most. I store them over here on the wall. I'm gonna do a video on um, review on some of these clamps. I got a pretty good story on that, but uh, not for this particular video. And finally, in my shop, I have my hand tools that I use quite a bit, the ones I use most often. Uh, my bench chisels, planes, uh, I use my my old number seven, bedrock number seven, I use that quite a bit. Uh, measuring tools. Look at this cool mallet that I got from Mary May. Special custom Mary May mallet, I love this. A couple of planes, I got the Veritas, block plane and I got the Veritas uh, apron plane. I love, love, love the block plane, the apron plane. I never use it. Just don't use it. What else do I got here? Mallet. You need to need all mallets. I guess I'm, you don't need three or four mallets, but I've got them. And, uh, oh, files, uh, sculpt, more sculpting types of things. I use those a lot. You know, the old Nicholson number 49, that's the go-to. And actually, just the other day, I was working on something. I I don't use these, what do you call them, cheese grater things very often. But the other day, I had a had an application for them, and it was, wow. Okay, I finally got a chance to use that. I was glad. Um, what else have I got back here? Oh, just a couple of marquetry panels. I mean, not marquetry, but a couple of veneer panels, just some practice pieces I did a few years ago. Tom Shrunk, I uh, studied with Tom. Uh, another practice uh, study piece with Tom Shrunk, the man for it comes to veneer. This here, this is my first, uh, I forget what we call that now. <laughs> for sharpening, I made this. Before I really even knew anything about woodworking, I made this and Works surprisingly well. People laugh at me when they see it, but it does the job for honing. Um, -dum -bum -bum. Sanding blocks. What's cool about these, I just take a scrap of aluminum tubing, square tubing that you can get at the steel supply, put some PSA sandpaper on there and you can get a nice, perfect square sanding on uh, whatever it is you're doing. I use those once in a while, mostly for veneer work. Um, regular mechanics tools, you, know, you have to use those once in a while. And then, one of the things that I am absolutely most fortunate about is to have a sink. Finally, I have a sink in my shop. Not many guys have a sink in their shop, and believe me, it's great. So, um, that's the basic uh, rundown in my shop. I store lumber up in the garage. Maybe I'll show you that sometime. 
for, for now. Uh, that was a quick little shop tour and I, I hope you liked it. Any questions, sure, for sure if you have questions send me an email, make a comment down underneath on the video, hit the subscribe button of course, and um, check back. There's more coming from Jack Bench. Thanks.